percentage increase and decrease. This is the sort of question such as the population of a town increased from 25,000 to 28,000. Find the percentage increase. The important thing to remember is that you always start with the original value. So here, the town population increased from 25,000 to 28,000. So your original value is the 25,000. So if we write it down, the original value is 25,000. Now you've identified that, you can find the actual numeric increase or decrease. In this question, it starts at 25,000, the population, and rose to 28,000. So here we have an increase, and the increase is the 28,000 minus the 25,000, which is 3,000. So the increase is 3,000 people, and the original value was 25,000. So your percentage increase is the actual increase over the original. You write that as a fraction and then convert it into percent. So the increase is 3,000. The original is 25,000. So that's the fraction. Then to make it into a percent, I'm going to multiply by 100. Lots and lots of cancelling to do here. Those three zeros will cancel with those three zeros. The 100 you can think of as 100 over 1, so I can cancel the 25 with the 100, and 25 goes into 100 four times. So all I'm left with is 3 times 4, which is 12. So our increase is... 12%. So as long as you put your change in value over the original, you shouldn't have too many problems. So another example, a man buys a car for £15,000 and sells it two years later for £12,000. Find his percentage loss. Unfortunately, this is what happens with cars, they do lose value. So let's again identify the figures that we want, read it through carefully and see what the original value is. And the original value here is the £15,000. So the original is 15000 This time he is making a loss, so it's a loss or a decrease, and his loss is the... £15,000 that he spent minus the £12,000 he got back. So it's £3,000. So to find our percentage loss, you put the, the change, the loss, which is 3000 over the original, which is 15000 and convert it into a percent by multiplying by 100. Again, the 100 you can think of as 100 over 1, plenty of zeros to cancel, and then the 3 will go into the 15 five times, and then we can also cancel the 5 with the 100. 5s go into 5 once, 5s go into 120 times, so we're left with the easy sum, 1 times 20, which is 20, and 1 times 1, which is 1. So our loss is... 20%.